There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Preparing to launch. Please stand by for another random DOS game show. Mostly sunny skies today with bristles. And that's a rocket. It's not rocket science, unless it is. This is rocket science games. The story you are about to see contains scenes in which the characters are riding in a car without seat belts. This is not advisable. Please wear your seatbelt at all times when riding in a car. Okay. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Sweet. There's the Earth. In the year 2020 AD, the Earth faced the devastation of the first great cataclysm. 2020? Okay, okay. There's an intro. Everything went bad. Steering... Mouse. Aiming mouse. Uh, can we change that? We can change it to joystick or keyboard. Uh, interesting. So we could have a mixture of... Right. We, we can, like, steer with the keyboard and shoot with the mouse, I guess? Why not? So we got a whole pile of people... Uh, Looks to be comic inspired. Interesting art style. Let's hit play and see what happens. Oh, it's definitely comic inspired. Look at that. Okay, so another preamble movie thing. Let's get to the gameplay. Xeno Zone, Chapter yeah, One. Try to blast those obstacles out of our path. Okay. Be not to hit any of the living creatures. Just drive, Kenrak. Leave the shooting to me. Right, so we control with the mouse, and uh, we drive with uh, the keys. And this is a sort of FMV game, where you have to just uh, drive through, like, you know, like Mega Race, you know, where the, the actual thing, the track and so on, is all pre-rendered. And you just have to interact. Oh, oh, that is not what we wanted to do. And you can see... Oh, yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> okay. So that didn't go well. Uh, we've got a handful of lives left and not much health. And the problem is, if you don't go where the path wants you to go exactly, then you are doomed. Oh, too many dents in the old car. Let's just get past here. Uh, do we go this way? I guess so. We'll go this way now. Yes. Let's just clear away. Oh, oh, we, we shot the dinosaur. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, ah. Ow. And there's, there's a game timer. A game timer of 58 minutes, so you have like one hour to complete the whole game, I think. Or this course. <sighs> right. Okay, we're, we're doing really badly. <laughs> Is this the same bit that we, uh, we died miserably on? Let, let's find out. Okay, there should be a dinosaur getting in our way. Alright, yep, yep, we... We avoided those. We avoided that one. Yep, yeah, we're getting a little bit better. This is a tough first level. Oh no. Oh, ow. Okay. I think I see what this game is. Let's just shoot the dinosaur. <laughs> so you're not allowed to shoot the dinosaurs. Because if you shoot them too many times, they kill you. Alright. Oh. Oh, uh, the controls are abysmal. Uh, it's it's really really frustrating to play. And uh, whoever did the sound mixing also needs shot. Yep, game over. <laughs> so I can tell you exactly what this game is now. Looks to be based on a comic, FMV based reactathon. 
where you drive around shooting things and you have to do it at a specific interval that the game likes. If there's any sort of input lag or any issues with the control, as there is in DOSBox rather than playing it natively, then yeah, you're pretty much doomed. And this is not a good game, it's not a fun game, it's not one I'd recommend. Despite the colourful graphical style, I have to give points for the sort of comic book style and the attempt to integrate FMV. You know, there was an attempt made there, but it was at that time when things were still very early in the FMV world in terms of, uh, you know, reacting to a video backdrop with any kind of ability or clarity. And a game like Mega Race had already come out by this point. So, um, yeah, it's not great. I wouldn't recommend. And if you like me talking about random DOS games that range from brilliant to terrible and everything in between, I have hundreds of other videos on my channel. Feel free to take a look. And if you like what you see there, you can subscribe. And if you really like what you see there, there is a patronage option these days via Patreon. Look at these fine people who already like what I do enough to give me money. You can too if you want but it's entirely optional. Until next time, I am getting out of here. This was not fun.